Alicia Tyler, hello. Hi, how's it going? I have to say, uh, outside of Archer, I am a fan of yours. I got turned on to your podcast from Jay Moore. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. The podcast is a Girl on Guy, yeah. and a couple of weeks ago you had Bert Kreischer on, which was hysterical. Yeah, I love Bert. I mean, I've known Bert and Jay for 10 years at least. Jay, maybe 15, and... And Jay, Jay and I were both, we did a home and away together really early on in both our podcast lives. So it was like really, really early in my first season. He's a very good old friend uh, in deep need of psychological assistance, but I love him very much. You're here for Archer, which is going to come out in 2015, and you play Lana. I almost screamed it, but that would be inappropriate. Yeah, you got it right. This year, you have a baby. Yes, well, not me. Oh, good Lord, that would wreck all my junk. But uh, yeah, no, Lana has a baby. I think it's going to be a really interesting season because she's just juggling trying to be a working mom, you know, and also trying to shoot people, which is a unique set of circumstances for a mother, and trying to deal with uh, Archer's efforts at co-parenting. I don't think she really wants him to co-parent. I think he's volunteered, and then he's just kind of sucking at it, and she's like, it's fine. You can just stay being a douchebag. I don't need you to try to change. But he keeps kind of, you know, ramping back up and trying to get in there. It'll be cute to see. Uh, how how deeply and and uh, and uh, intensely he fails. What else can we expect from Lana in this new season? Well, I mean, I, the whole team is trying to figure out how to get back to fundamentals. You know, I mean, I think they were obviously on the lamb last year, and now they're trying to come back in from out of the cold and um, presents its own set of unique circumstances. They weren't particularly good spies before. I think people were so in love with them when they were at the agency, but. Um, you know, they constantly were blowing it. You know, I, I think it's one of the things that's so endearing about this group of people is you really care about their relationships more than you care about how effective they are as, a, as a, a, an espionage team. But, you know, they're trying to rebuild something that's very, that's deeply broken. And uh, it's and they're not a very good, they're not a very effective team. So it's going to be interesting to see them try to put things back together. Also last season, it seems that uh, good fortune was bestowed upon you where they lost the agency. And now ISIS is a dirty word. Yeah, it's an interesting, it's going to be an interesting time for the show. Uh, yeah, you know, some, uh, the terrorists apparently have won. Look, that, that's been the, the name on the show for years. It's also the name of like 97,000 other things, and everybody's like having a big, like, you know, like sweet potato crap about it. Right. But like, it's not like, it's not like we had the name and then there was nobody else, and now it's just us and the terrorists. You know, it's like also like a Greek goddess and some shitty VHS tape stores in the middle of the country. I mean, a lot of people have the name. Do you think it affects the merchandising for Archer, though? Uh, not in the end. No, our merchandise isn't very good. It won't affect anything. You haven't seen a lot of the shirts down there? Yeah, I've seen there? it. It's, yeah, I've, Why I've it? seen it. What'll be great is that down the line, that stuff's going to all be collector's items. So everybody's got something with ISIS on it should hold on to it. Why is there no Lana shirts? I don't know. <laughs> I think the bigger question is why am I not getting money for all the shirts that are out there? <laughs> Look, I ask this question to a lot of people, especially those who work in animation or uh, who work in um, big studio projects where they've written and created and there's a merchandise and a toy line. Mm -hmm. When products started coming out for Archer, did you guys get, did they give you anything for free or did you have to go and actually buy your own product? They've offered us stuff, but <laughs> they've offered us stuff. We just haven't really loved very much of <laughs> it. We get with the, our team on the, the guys who, Matt and Adam, the guys at Floyd County make t-shirts every year. They make like special crew t-shirts and that's the stuff we really treasure because it's stuff that just goes to cast and crew. It's really unique. Last year they did a t-shirt um, from uh, this, like was a Vietnam, Vietnamese by, uh, motorcycle company, like Kuang t-shirt. And, um, and that was actually, it's actually on the Slater character in the season. So that's a really special shirt. Um, yeah, so so we have our own kind of like interior stuff that we do as a group, but uh, I, I think that I think Amber's got the dolphin. She's got the original blue dolphin. There's a pink dolphin circulating right now. Not not regulation. Pink dolphin is not regulation. <laughs> so I, I refuse to even acknowledge the pink dolphin because it's an, it's an imposter. Aisha, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, guys.